The African American Heritage Trail of Bartow County includes 19 different sites. Those first seven sites actually include a walking tour of downtown Cartersville and the black businesses that existed in that area from 1870 to about 1945. The remaining 12 sites can be accessed by car. People just don't know what rich history we have right here in Bartow County. From the Toni Morrison connections, to the first black Chief Justice of Georgia being here. I think it's very important to see what daily rural life was like for black folks um, in this area. And so through those 19 sites, you get a different viewpoint of what it looked like at different time periods. So for instance, you may start at Carver Park at the beach and you know have a day out there and see what it was like for one of the only black beaches in the South that black people could visit. From there, you could possibly visit the Black Pioneer Cemetery and pay your respects to those 333 individuals individuals that are interred there. That cemetery was established in 1855. It's a one acre lot that was set aside for the enslaved members of the community to be buried. And then from there, you would maybe take a tour of our two Rosenwald schools, Summer Hill and Noble Hill, and get to see what it was like a day in the life of black students. We admonish people to come out and learn and see how far we've come and where we're going. One of the sites along the trail is the resting place of Michelle Obama's ancestor, Melvinia Shields. Her story of strength and tenacity is amazing. It's such rich history. There's so much to learn that people skip over when it comes to small towns like this. If you haven't spent a lot of time in rural America, you will be um, surprised at how diverse it is and how diverse it has been. One of the treats in, in Cartersville and Bartow County with this trail is that you get to see a lot of these buildings, these sites in their original form. Rural culture has often been overlooked and undervalued. We had a lot of resilient people in the community and they really worked hard. They didn't ask anybody for anything. The African American history here is not just something of the past. We're currently still here building a strong community, a strong foundation. A lot of those origins of black people that you see spread out through the North and the West came from the South. And so these stories that we tell about these Southern rural areas are actually the origin stories of black Americans.